Mirrors are unique and fascinating things. They reflect exactly what's in front of them. No judgment. A simple reflection of the truth. They help us see areas which we are not able to see clearly on our own. They are an amazing feedback too. You may be able to feel if there's something in your teeth, but the mirror can really show you what it is. The law of mirror states, you cannot see something in another human unless it's in you first. If it's not in you, you won't recognize it. Every person and relationship is reflecting, at some level, parts of our consciousness to us. Life is reflecting who we are and what we have become. For example, if you see someone as the jealous type, then at some level there has to be jealousy in you for you to recognize it. Or you might take an instant liking to someone who is well-groomed because you personally value taking care of yourself and dressing well. The law of mirrors shows how we judge things and people. Like the mirror, reality is constantly reflecting our inner consciousness, judgment and giving us feedback. If there is a pimple on your face, you can't be mad with the mirror. It's just reflecting the truth. We can only change something if we are aware of it. The idea behind this principle is that if it's not in us, we won't see it. Our reality is reflecting to us that which is within us. We see the world not as it is, but as we are. If we find insecurities in people, then at some level there is insecurity in us. If we find someone inspiring, then there are traits in us that we see in them. How we judge is always reflected back to us. For example, when we admire someone on how organized they are, there's something in us that likes that organized, orderly manner. If we see someone as an, an angry person, there must be some anger within us that gets triggered when witnessing theirs. One cannot simply say, they made me angry, unless there was already some anger within us. This profound principle is hard to understand and accept for a lot of people, especially when it comes to negative traits or situations. The first reaction is to deny because we think it's always the other that has caused us pain or unhappiness. How can there be anything in common between us and that person that triggers us? The law of mirror not only shows how we judge, it's also the law of personal responsibility. It shifts our focus from what's happening to us to what's happening in us. Instead of blaming the world, we can take inventory of what's happening in us. Our reality, our relationships and life in general act as a mirror, reflecting to us over and over the subtleties of our consciousness to give us understanding of our own lives. The mirror reveals to us what's in us. Similar issues can repeat and resurface in our lives with different people and at different times. The same feelings or the same insecurities can crop up just different actors. The law of mirrors through people and situation reflects what's inside of us. The faces change but the patterns are the same. People change jobs and still complain about the same issues with their new bosses. Try and notice the repeating lessons the universe is trying to teach you. The law of mirrors shows us that everything starts with us and ends with us. When we frown in front of the mirror, the mirror simply reflects. When we smile, the reflection smiles back. We are the common denominator in all our experiences. The only person to whom we have the ultimate influence over is us. It's not about the blame, 
It's about ownership. It's about personal responsibility. If we are attracting the same type of jealous, insecure relationship in our lives, then we must introspect and observe with compassion what's in us that is creating or attracting that. If we can objectively look at our lives using the law of mirrors, it brings self-awareness that can lead to wisdom. It's critical to observe, not judge. The mirror always tells the truth. We are creators and a powerful creator looks for feedback and consciously creates something new, something of value. Observe, the mirror gives feedback. Life gives feedback. If we don't accept our responsibility, how can others take the focus away from the outside and direct it inward? If we want great love, we must first become love. If we want respect, we must first respect ourselves and others. Whatever you put out there is indeed going to come back to you. We mirror what surrounds us and what surrounds us mirrors us. Reality not only reflects to us who we are at any given moment, but also reflects hidden characteristics that may seem polar opposite to what we perceive our traits to be. For example, we may be overly kind and generous, but always seem to attract people and situations that take advantage of our kindness and generosity. Our reality might be mirroring that our need to be kind is stemming from guilt or a need to please others. Maybe it's time to be kind to ourselves and give ourselves that true love. Once you master this principle, then you can also reflect back to people who they are without trying to teach them. Suppose there is someone stressed or angry around us. We can reflect back to them the opposite by being calm and peaceful. By seeing us calm, they can mirror us. Using this principle, we are showing them another way to be. We're also a mirror to others. In conclusion, we can do or be anything we like. But to achieve that, we must first become the reflection of what we would like to be. Next time, if you are angered or pleased by someone, ask what emotion or trait this person is revealing that in me. Life, like a mirror, is always reflecting to us who we are at that moment. It's up to us what we do with it. We are the generators of our experiences. Mirrors always put what's in us in front of us. Thank you and namaste. This is Nico on the Moon.